getting our children dressed in the morning, I have to admit, sometimes it wears me out. Our daughter is at that age where she likes to pick out her own clothes for the day, which, which is great, except it doesn't always happen so fast. You see, she likes to lay out her options and then think about it for a while. Walk around her room trying to decide, then get distracted by a book that she wants to read before returning to the clothes picking out task, only to then be distracted again with a toy that she hasn't played with in months, but all of a sudden is apparently the most interesting toy in the world. Yeah, it can be a little time-consuming process. And getting our son dressed, well, that isn't always all that easier. You know, of course, he is younger than his sister, so we don't have to wait for him to pick out his own clothes. He's not doing that, but, but we do have to wrestle them onto him. Have you ever tried to dress a squirmy worm? Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm out of breath before the day has even begun. You know, I wish that the Bible would give us some words of wisdom on, on how to make getting dressed a little quicker in the morning. But, of course, the Bible doesn't address a topic like that, but it does give us words of instruction that are even more important. Paul writes about what we should put on in Colossians chapter 3. Listen to what Paul says there. He writes, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. You know, Paul doesn't tell us what shirt to wear in the morning or how to get pants on a squirming toddler. But, but he does call us, and he does tell us, and he does show us how we are to live as Christians. We are called to put on compassionate hearts kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with each other and forgiving each other in light of how God has forgiven you and me in Jesus Christ. And above all, Paul says, we are to put on love, love that binds it all together in perfect harmony. How can we do this? Well, we have to admit not very well on our own. It might sound even like it's a more difficult task than, than waiting for a three-year-old to select her outfit, but, but this task is not impossible for us. In fact, all of this that would sound impossible for us on our own is made possible for us through Jesus. For through the love shown to you by Christ on the cross, through the forgiveness that Jesus won for you there, through the power of the Holy Spirit at work in your lives, you can put on all of these things. And you do, because you have experienced true love and forgiveness yourself from Jesus, your Savior, who died for you. May His love guide and direct you as you reflect Christ's love to those around you this week. Hope to see you again tomorrow.